In the UK, we have a number of rare migrant butterflies. Some are especially rare and very prized and much sought after species. I have one here. This is the Camberwell Beauty, known to Americans as the Morning Cloak. Both beautiful names, and both named for very different reasons. Well, whether we actually get to see the upper side of this most beautiful butterfly, it really is an absolute belter. I don't know. It's very early morning. It's just after five because these are flighty. And this is a species that I've wanted to rear for about 40 years again. Captive bred stock, so this isn't a genuine migrant, but genuine migrant Camberwell beauties are very rare in Nottinghamshire. There are maybe about half a dozen records, and in fact, I think there was a good shout of one last year up in the Arnold Valley. These are a lot easier to see, but it is one of our largest and most beautiful of butterflies. Underneath it's generally black and then it has that outer edge on both fore wings and hind wings which on the underside are a dirty straw colour. On the upper side they're a beautiful yellow. The butterfly is an absolute dream and the upper side is a velvety, dark, burgundy or aubergine colour, depending on your upbringing really. But it is a most magnificent butterfly. In the UK it's known as the Camberwell Beauty after it's first been found on an open top bus, if I remember right, in Camberwell in London. The Americans, I think, have a more appropriate name and they call it the Morning Cloak. That's mourning, as in mourning after someone's death. And you can really see why that butterfly gets its name. Pretty much, you can see it when it's in this state, the butterfly inactive, but even more so when the butterfly has its wings open. It is, as I like to say, an absolute belter of a butterfly. It's the most beautiful and remarkable butterfly and this may well be the only way we get to see the upper side as this one flashes its wings and the beautiful yellow edges to those wings. And that dark, very dark, almost burgundy coloration is absolutely beautiful. These are large and powerful butterflies and most of those that arrive in the UK are believed to be from Sweden and Scandinavia. And that's why the majority of UK records are down the eastern coast. Occasionally, they'll filter in land. And not even should I say, has had about half a dozen records or what I would at least deem modern day records. It's a wonderful species. Absolutely wonderful. When it opens the wings like that, there's a, a very slight sort of rustling sound similar to peacock but peacock's louder hopefully 
This one might hold its wings open for us. Just look at that. Truly beautiful butterfly, whether it's from underneath, like this, or from above. Enjoying the very early morning sun. It's about half past five. What a stonking thing, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. These are occasionally available via the livestock trade, of which these were. I was able to secure 10 lava a few weeks ago and the most amazing thing about this butterfly and the nine others that accompany it are that the larva from when I first got them were so synchronized in their development the larva are gregarious anyway the females lay large batches of eggs on sallow but when they arrived with me, each malt, they malted twice because they were quite well grown, but each malt, all of them, malted pretty much to the day. Pupation was to the day. All of a sudden, one evening, they went from just large lava to pre-pupating lava, all hanging suspended they all pupated the same day bar one and then hatching occurred all on the same day bar one brilliant things there hasn't been one in Nottinghamshire for a few years now. One of the last ones was a twitchable one up Annesley Colliery. And that was found by a poor nailer, an adult nectarine on a buddy on the disused mineral railway line that used to feed Annesley. Annesley Colliery was more or less Newstead Colliery. And so there was a report of one last year, and a very good report. I don't know whether the report got submitted, but it was seen flying, and then subsequently possibly seen again, high up, flying over a couple of observers. In flight, it is large, appears very large, and glides a lot for an invalid. Very powerful wing beats, and then those wing beats interspersed with long glides. It's the most majestic butterfly in flight, but unfortunately, it's usually quite high above you. So, that's some brief glimpses of the Camberwell beauty, and I need to get this one back in his cage before he takes flight properly and I'm stood here looking up at him like that.